Okay, 20 years ago, guys, when I was a teenager, I used to pay 10 cent for one sweet. You know? Same sweet that I was buying 20 years ago, it cost 50 cent now. So basically, what does that mean? You know? There is an increase of 500%. So today, I'm just going to dive on what banks don't tell you about interest and also what does it mean when they say money loses by Otherwise, my feet too, so I think it's a now with S and N Academy. Today, you're just going to dive in on the interest and also knowing how does it work when they say money loses by power. Ne? So, simple explanation. When they say money losing by power, ne? they mean 20 years ago, what a thousand men can buy or could buy, it can no longer buy today. Ne? Hence, that is why I was telling you the story about a suite that I was buying for 10 cent. But years later, today it's 50 cent, meaning there's a 500 percent increase on the price of that suite. Ne? That's interest, and that's also money losing by power. Ne? On another point, guys, let's say you're taking a loan from the bank, it's 10k or 20k. Ne? Now, you, you get on an agreement with the bank that you're going to pay this loan over a period of two or three years. The banks understand guys with money loses buying power over time. So the 10000 or the 20000 they gave you three years ago no longer have the same buying power three years or two years later. So that's why they need interest to compensate for the power or the buying power that is lost over time. And then on another point, let's take you bond. You know? You're buying your house. They're financing your house, the bank. So you have to pay for more than for 20 years. You know? So now, if you look at the principal, let's say the principal was 500,000, the cost of buying that house. You owe a million or even more. After paying for 20 years, you guys will realize or people will tell you, you have actually paid more than the principal simply because of the interest and that is money losing buying power so the bank know if they finance you with a million and to buy that house or half a million that half a million after 20 years it does not have the same buying power hence that is why interested interest is needed to compensate for that cost of buying power I hope you guys are still with me on this one. Eh? We'll move on on the next one. Eh? Okay, we have something which is called inflation. So what does inflation mean? It basically means there's an increase of services and goods. Eh? So your food prices are going up. Your utility bills are going up. That would be your electricity, your water, and so on and so forth. Your petrol is going up. No, it's basically, this is just inflation increase the amount of prices now if the inflation increases that also puts your money at risk because already when it increases it decreases the value of your money so when it increases it decreases the value of your money hence that's why we get to that position whereby the suite i was buying for 10 cent 20 years ago today it's gonna cost me 50 cent that 500 percent increase on that suite you know? on our next point as inflation increases i did tell you guys the value of money is going down you know? so now in future that basically means whatever you could buy in the past with a certain amount you can no longer buy it you know? that suite i was buying for 10 cent 20 years ago today can buy it. Né? So we're just gonna jump on the last one. If the inflation rate is six percent, and then the bank is offering you four or five percent on your saving account, né? interest, meaning for whatever amount you save with the bank, they're gonna give you yearly four percent or five.
five percent that basically means you are not keeping up you are actually falling behind you are you are actually falling behind because gonna be giving you four percent and then interest is sitting comfortably at six and it's continuing to increase so when you are two percent shorter than what the inflation rate is actually requiring you to keep up with yeah? so hence that is why you see us struggling you see us we are complaining about the ever increasing cost of living but there is no solution out of this because this is how the financial system works and it's a broken system and they are not willing to solve it yeah? I'm just gonna dive in on another one so now when you save your money with the bank yeah? The bank does not consider the whole thing of money using buying power and also interest or inflation. They just gonna wanna give you whatever percentage they have decided which they wanna give you. Ne? So if they say three percent on your saving account, they're gonna give you that. While inflation is rising at eight or seven or even seven point five percent, meaning they are not compensating for what when are you actually have to suffer at a later stage but we all know when they give you a loan or they finance your car or your house they increase the interest rate as per the south african reserve bank every time when the south african reserve bank increases the interest rate you know what the bank does they increase their interest rate so ask yourself your question what about your money that you saved with them why is that interest not also going up for it to give you more on your save money but get at the topic of another day you guys have to decide what you do with your money otherwise then i don't know if it's sound mind me i'm just showing you the other side of the coin like we always do we tell you guys what our channel is about your education please do drop us a comment and tell us what you think about this video and tell us if you enjoyed it and also find it informative otherwise you know i'm going to about it as an academy to end invest and spend there's a reason why you have to spend your money after you've invested it down.